Hello ladies and gentlemen and non-binary. My name is Kelly Williams and welcome to the revamp of my channel. From here on out we are going to do nothing but RC and FPV and the fun things that we can do with them. So stick around, I think we can all have some fun. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around. Today, everybody's heard of the Frankenstein story. That is basically what we're gonna do. We are going to make a quad out of other quads. Yes, it's kind of sadistic, but mm, quite necessary. So I will show you what we're gonna have. We have this, as most people do, a very, very broken P3. Now I thought, well, I could rebuild the P3, but it has a trashed IMU, a trashed GPS, no gimbal, um, and yeah, it fell from the sky, the battery came out at 400 feet, went turtle status to the ground as most P3s do. So what is the salvageable, salvageable, salvageable parts that we can take from this? Nothing. Except the motors. Yes. These motors are, I believe, 1,000 or 1,100 kV, spinning a 9.4 by 5 prop. What can I do with these motors? What can I do with these motors that would be fun? Well, I will show you. It could be absurd. It could be amazing. But what we're going to do is this. Yes. A nine inch bang good banger is what I'm going to call it. It's carbon fiber ish. $20 frame. And we're going to turn this into a race quad? A Cine scoop? Because it can't be a Cine whoop. I don't know. It could be amazing. It could be terrible. But stick around because we're going to find out. So I've primarily gone with this setup due to cost. It seems to be the most cost efficient setup that I could do for something that I have no idea if it's going to work or not. For the flight controller, we're going with the iFlight Success 45 amp 4-in-1 ESC F4 flight controller. For the video transmitter, we're going with the trusty old Mach 3 from Race Day Quads. It's got tons of power, tons of range, so we can go anywhere we want. And of course, for the camera, we're going with the good old Foxier, the Falcor 1200 TVL, because more TVLs are better than less. And then, of course, we have the four DJI Monster 954x5 props and motors. All right, let's get it started. So first things first, with the motors, we have to put them on the order that Betaflight wants us to put them on there. These are counterclockwise and clockwise. Uh, threads and bolts that the propellers go on. So there's, they have to go on a certain order. So let us do that. Okay, so I pulled up the motor direction on the interwebs and it looks like number four there is spinning like a this, right? Yeah, and that's which way that one goes. So we'll put that, that's number four there. Number two, I'm suspecting, is gonna be one of these silver guys here. Right? Yes, because it's going. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that's easy, because then I assume that this one will go this way. Okay. Cool. So I'm hoping that the torque won't, because these. They screw off and then. Go, go on, screw on, yes. And so I'm hoping that the um, active braking doesn't, you know, unscrew them, but it shouldn't because they're meant to spin that way so that they 
back up on themselves and tighten. So, who knows? Who knows? We can only hope, we can only pray. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get those bolted in so that they don't get transferred over or lost or anything. And, oh, I need to find bolts. I'm gonna find some bolts. All right, so I found a little baggie of the bolts that I pulled out of the P3 and some other random screws. So I guess that means it's time for the building montage to commence. Hi -ya! It is getting kind of scary. Um, it's really big <laughs> and it's really heavy. Uh, I don't have one of those scales because I ain't no drone dealer trying to, you know, sling ESCs on the market. So I don't have a scale. Uh, but it feels, wow! <laughs> Oh, it's gonna be so scary. It's so ridiculous. I can't wait. Yes! Yes! I mean, what better way to spend your corona quarantine time than doing something like this? What are you doing, Kelly? Soldering this like this? Whatever, Putin. I know what I'm doing. Got it all soldered in. It doesn't look too bad, I don't think. So, um, yeah. Go ahead and start mounting the rest, I guess. Yes, yes. Okay, now we are just going to solder up the VTX real quick. Um, it's actually the first hardwire VTX I've ever dealt with which is pretty cool I dig it I think it's pretty easy to do so um, I will be getting this VTX more often cool. done and done oh look at that that was easy alright mm-hmm mm-hmm liking it liking it this is looking pretty good, pretty snazzy. We're getting close, we're getting close. Okay, we have this guy all soldered up, ready to go. We have this guy in its cage, ready to go. Yeah, oh, I should probably solder on um, this guy. So, I'm um, you gonna be using, oh, it's so small and little, uh, the R9M. Perfect. All right, well, everything's connected, so. Should fly like a dream now. Okay, so we have, so we have receiver, we have VTX, everything all connected. Toss that on there. Oh yeah, this could be great. Great, perfect. 
All right, awesome. Let's put it together. Okay, so I uh, think I got everything right. <laughs> um, let's plug her in. See if there's any smoke. Ooh, no smoke. All right. A little, a little afraid. All right. <laughs> that is absolutely terrifying. Uh, um, yeah, well, it looks like it's gonna it's gonna do it. So we'll go outside and see. It's really windy, uh, but it's the only way to test. <laughs> Oh, it's so scary, man. Oh, scheiße. Alright, let's do it. All right, so we did this before. We're gonna do it again just because it didn't work very well. And we're gonna do something a little more fun. So we did a little bit of tuning. Um, hopefully that did something because it flew horrible and I didn't have any DVR. So I wanna see, have you guys see that. So here we go. Uh, oh, let me show you the quad. Here she is in all of her infinite glory. It's huge, <laughs> nine inches ridiculous. So, um, yeah, let's see. I did some tooting. It could just fly away. Who knows? So here we go. Let's see. I'm gonna just run a quick one, line of sight to see if it uh, flies off or something. A little bit better. All right, let's put on the goggles and see what we can do. <laughs> okay, so the battery thing is working. So I just wish that our my current draw and everything was working on my OSD, but it's not. So, say lobby, let's do it. Oh yeah, still a little wobbly. so quiet it's crazy these big old props they don't make much sound and it's so efficient there's zero very little voltage sag as you can see it's 16.4 oh it's fast oh, oh, oh. Ooh, almost hit the pole. <laughs> oh man, it's kind of fun actually. Hey, it does pretty good. It does pretty good. I think it's just a matter of getting used to flying, a little more tuning. Quad. A little bit of saggy there, I can feel it, I can feel it. Ooh, pull. But it flies good, it's not bad. Oh, watch out, watch out. It's 
It's not like flying a three inch, that's for sure. <laughs> careful, careful. Okay. Now we're getting some voltage sag. These are these photos for mint, not meant for this. But it's doing really well. I should check the motors to see if they're hot, but. God, it flies weird. I think maybe it's just a matter of getting used to it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, it controls really well. It's it's solid. It's just it needs some tuning. I think. destroy anything else let's slam before we get too crazy oh my god this is ridiculous okay the video is not very good i wonder if i need to change my uh, vtx settings oh my god <laughs> okay It's just a little... It's a little bouncy. Try and get rid of that somehow. Okay, let's check the motors. <laughs> All right, so I kind of want to conclude the video with how I feel about this monstrosity. As you can see, I've put um, a... Uh, oversized battery to say the least on this beast and it flies it flies very well actually not for freestyle but i believe for long range it'll be it'll do pretty dang good so i think that's where we're going to take this sucker next so thanks for watching and please do the things where you hit the subscribe and the like and then do the little tick, 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 comment things and tell me what you think what do you want to see it do where do you want to see it go um yeah and we'll just go from there until we crash it. But we got other stuff coming up, hopefully, on the channel, um, time permitting. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>